I ended up buying this laptop. I do not know the name of it, sadly. So um, actually, let me read this side so I can tell you what name this laptop is. It is a Asus. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that weird, but I think this, this better not be the laptop. Oh, is the laptop inside of it? Okay, I was gonna say, okay, this is a weird square type of laptop. What is we doing? I'm gonna put that down. I'm sure the laptop's in there. Yep, it is. I hope it looks nice. Hope it looks pretty. Hopefully this laptop is good for programming. If it's not, I screwed myself out of hella money. If it is, well, then that's amazing. I could hopefully make the money back. Sorry about this, y'all. I cannot get this open for the life of me. All right, I'm stupid, y'all. You're supposed to open it up from the side. We don't gotta talk about that. We got this big wire, so this makes me feel good. This makes me feel like when I plug this in, it will do some damage. It's the charger. This is crazy. That's a big, thick charger. Don't, you know, pause. I'm just going to put this here, put that right back in. Now, we are going to open the most important part. Now, I didn't really know what laptop to end up getting, so I asked for some help from somebody that I knew in my family. So, you know, if there was a better laptop I could have got for this price, uh, let me know but i simply did what i was told so we're gonna take this off and let's see what this looks like and guys i have like the worst of luck ever every time i get a laptop that should work it always like never works so this is scary for me but look at this y'all look at that that's the front of it um i don't even know if this is a good laptop company i could be failing myself right now okay how the hell do you take oh. Imagine I dropped it, y'all. Imagine I dropped it. All right, so that's still good. Box. And look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at the back. Hopefully this could get the work done. I'm really trying to stay committed to programming. So I got this. I'm about to go download everything I need to download. Get it ready. That is the old laptop that literally does not work. I can't even do free code, free, free code program, whatever the hell it's called. Free coding camp. I can't even do it on that laptop. So now enter in the new one. I'm going to side by side compare it when I take this plastic off here. Just in case if anyone else cared about this, taking the plastic off of it. Just gotta, I'm pretty sure it died. So I'm trying to make sure I plug this in real quick. There we go, y'all. It is on Got the Republic of Gamers. And look at that too, y'all. I didn't even know that the, the keyboard and mouse comes on. Look at that. That is crazy, bro. This is about to be so sick. All right, so I'm about to go and log into this computer, man. And I'm just so ecstatic right now, bro. I'm about to plug in my um, mouse. Hopefully, it would start working right now. Now, I ended up getting recommended a couple of things. So I'm using, I don't know if this is what I should be using to code. I'm using Workspace or Visual Workspace or something like that, whatever it's called. But let me see real quick. I have these installed right here. I don't know if there's better things to end up installing. I'm just going based off of simply what ChatGPT told me to install. They told me to install something for JavaScript later, like when I'm doing JavaScript. But then I also little I have like a little code section so it could teach me things so like how to censor a text and a background. I know that this code ended up working. I don't know if it works for literally everything or when you add CSS or JavaScript, but I know that this is how I was able to center something. This is how to make the image a circle. So this is just, just in case if I can't remember, I can come back here and just paste the code and put it in the right spot. And then how to get the image in. Cause even though this is like the easiest part, but even though this is like so easy, it's like the problem is, is sometimes I will put image and then I'll put href and then try to paste it. And I'm like, no, I got to be src and then alt. I don't know what the hell href ends up doing then. So at that point, because I'm getting confused, I need to have both of them here so I can understand what they do. But I believe this was the one where I let ChatGBT go crazy. I just ended up looking up ChatGBT code and I put it in because I was trying to understand certain things. So I'm realizing that I think I believe style. I believe this is all CSS. So this is what they ended up making. Hello, I'm Marzi. Welcome to my first web page. Yada yada yada. I just wanted to see where everything was. See, and then JavaScript coming soon. They even made it to where you could write your name, write a message. I was like, oh my goodness, that's so cool. And then even when you click here, it shoots you down there. About, I don't think, it, I think you just stay here. But I was like, oh my gosh, this is so sick, right? But then this is the one I ended up doing all on my own. As you can clearly see, I put doing this all on my own. Obviously, I'm just writing random stuff. Eventually, I'm gonna try to make it like really good but 
I put this is so crazy that I know how to do this. I'm having the most fun I've ever had in a while. Now what? I have no clue. Just trying random things to be honest. And then that's when I put a random image that I just took. And then I was like, I wonder how you can make that into a circle. The only thing I don't like is that it's like this the image is kind of scrunched together. I'm gonna take you along with me as I copy line by line what chat GPT wanted me to do in a new project. And then what I'm going to end up doing after I do that, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And then I'm gonna try to see how much can I replicate on my own without the need of chat GPT. But that is what today's uh, step is. Chat GPT just told me to make a project to copy them step by step. And because I guess I've heard that when it comes to learning, you learn best when you are making stuff, when you are making projects. So based on my knowledge for day three, they gave me a couple of codes that should be easy enough for me to put together from what I was taught. And then that's what we're going to end up doing. And eventually I'm going to hop on free code camp as well. But I don't know if you guys are going to end up seeing that in the clip. I'll probably show y'all in day four. So I definitely think I could replicate this without having to look at it. I realized that it was all of the easy stuff. The only reason why I kept looking over was because I was trying to copy word for word what they were writing. Like, because there were certain things where they would put like favorite activities, favorite foods. So I kept looking back for those things. I haven't been coding by list, so I didn't know that when you do bulletin board or bulletin list or like you know just have it in an order that you have to every line put ui or whatever you're using that was l oh my bad l i see i'm tripping but let me go show you that website and isn't this crazy this is my third day of coding all right you know how like it took me about a couple minutes to figure out how to even do separate projects on that thing all right i had to actually chat gbt so many things i was like damn like coders or programmers whatever developers whatever y'all want to be called man respect to you brother because i couldn't even get that i couldn't even get it open i was like damn <laughs> all right the moment you've been waiting for i don't know if i had it open okay there was nothing running calm down my computer be yelling at me brother let's open this up banners so welcome to my favorite things hi i am marzi I, I don't like how it's all the way to the left and space that huh period yeah i should have spaced that when it came to spaghetti i can go back in and fix that mashed potatoes and broccoli my favorite activities my go-to hobbies are content creation coding of course oh why did i put a course together am i stupid and then reading the bibles okay there's a couple things we gotta fix fun facts i just started learning how to code this why am i not spacing this is one of my favorite projects thanks for visiting my page i'm, I'm definitely about to go fix those spacing stuff I, I don't know if it's getting you but it is getting me because spaghetti like you can't even see that it says love eating okay calm down folks see it says love eating and there's a period oh i didn't put a period but there's supposed to be a period there i'm gonna say i love eating spaghetti it's like it, damn girl take a break all right so i just learned how to center it so i got here you do h1 style equal center so i don't know what the, what the hell I, I got but bam Welcome to my favorite things. That is what I'm talking about. So I just got to do it to each one of these. They tried to show me a way of doing it to every single one of these by, I guess, doing it in between body and then put div, style, text align center, and then throw div at the bottom. But when I did that, it threw my whole text for a loop. So I'm just going to have to do it line by line. Or not line by line, but I think you have to do it. Oh, no, yeah, right? I would have to do it line by line, right? Next to P2. 
oh my goodness that's gonna be annoying but that is the end of this video i know i didn't necessarily build the website by myself i did make the first one that i did end up showing y'all but this one i'm like i said i've been told that i should be making projects at least trying to get like a project something small like that that took 10 minutes i'm going to be trying to do something like that every day i just think projects that i do copy from chat gbt to get myself to remember certain things and to learn certain things i'm probably going to delete it though because i don't want to i don't think i have a, a lot of storage like i have good storage on that laptop but with the coding and like how much storage projects take it's like i don't want to have projects just stored up on there that i copied i would rather store projects that i did on my own so i'm thinking that i'm probably going to keep that section specifically to copy anything from chat gbt to just get used to coding and then when it comes to my own i'm going to use the whole other section that i've been using to end up making or just making projects basically and that's what i'm gonna end up doing but yeah because i definitely think i could replicate that i just don't think it would take 10 minutes and the fact that it took 10 minutes for me to copy line by line it's like you know i'm, I'm a beginner all right i'm a beginner understand i'm gonna get a couple of lessons done on free code camp because i do want that certificate you understand? I seen that certificate. I want it. Right, let me give myself like four to five months then. I'm gonna try to get that certificate, all right? I'm gonna try.